All right, here's the Hampton Bay Glendale ceiling fan in 42 inches. I finally got it after a year saying that I'm going to buy it. And yeah, I'm here it is. I have never tested one of these in person. I've only recorded one of them when I visited a family member, one well, of my cousin's family member who's not related to me in um, Manhattan. And they had one of these with a Westinghouse Contempo Trio, I think. Contemporary Trio, the mini version, and yeah, it was, for some reason when I test fan, like when I feel air moving from fans in public, they, I don't, they're not as powerful as when I test them in my place or just test them in general, unless it's, they actually let me change all the speeds. So yeah, um, I just recorded this fan with the white blade showing and yeah, it's basically the same thing, just showing it with the bleach oak blades. Also, for those wondering, um, this fan is actually a Quick Connect fan. I'm actually surprised about that. But yeah, the, the built on this, the quality of this fan is just as solid as the 52 inch version. So yeah, it's not as solid as. Hunter Passport, but it's actually quite close to the quality of a Hunter fan or the build of it that is in the motor. Yeah, but it is more powerful. It is just as powerful as the Coastal Breeze and Silent Breeze. Maybe even more powerful. I'm not sure. I don't remember too, but I know it's just around that area, so it's not a bad fan. But the, the motor housing on this fan and the blade arms are actually more solid than the Silent Breeze and Coastal Breeze fans. So that is a plus. So this fin does have some quality in it. Maybe not Casablanca quality or old school Hunter quality, but it is good. So let me show it, go ahead and show it with the white. These are the white bulbs that came with the fan. Yeah, I really like having a, fit, a mini version of my 52 inch Glendale guys. I like that fan so much, the 52 inch one, so I kind of am very... Well, no, I'm not kind of. I really am happy to find to finally have the mini version of it. So yeah. And uh, they have some ridges on the white right here, the white shade. And different light shades on this fan compared to the 52 inch version. So yeah, there's some, a couple of differences besides the quick connect setup. And let me go ahead and start off on no. Now I went there today and they don't have, uh, this is the Home Depot that I recorded at a few times back in 2013, 2014, and this year this is not the Home Depot that had the uh, Dayton that had bent blades, which was running. This is the one that's closer to me. So yeah, this fan moves pretty good amount of air on low speed. But yeah, this is definitely just as good as the Coastal Breeze, maybe even better. But it, it's really not a disappointment. This fan, to be honest, it's actually quite impressive. Impressive, sorry. Yeah. Some allergies from since they're redoing the bathroom ceiling. There's some dust around here, and I'm allergic to dust. Even though I clean up the floor pretty well, <laughs> has a good low speed. Not too. It's a little bit fast, but it is a 42 inch fan, so it's understandable. But yeah, I'm just finally glad to have the, the mini version of this. I definitely am going to try to find a mini version of the low profile that's in my living room. Um, I have found a low profile light for it, so look forward to that. I'm going to be getting it probably next. I'm going to pay buy it from the guy next week, and it'll be here within the next two weeks or so, something like that. So no, that video will be up soon. All right, let me show up the light. Well, it's on low speed. I definitely like it better with the breeze oak blades, without a doubt. Alright, let me move this baby up to medium. Basically, a, the baby version of the 52 inch Glendale or the little brother. Oh, yeah, if they made a 42 inch version of the carousel, like the original carousel. I would get that thing in a heartbeat, to be honest.
Did I move it up to medium? Yeah, that was medium. Sorry about that. And it's a pretty fast medium speed, to be honest. It's usually the high speed of some 42-inch fans. Ones that don't go that fast. That um, droopy hugger that was at that house where I got the Infinity and the quarter up hugger, this is probably the high speed of it, so this fan definitely goes faster than that. But although it's probably a very cheap we made hugger. Now if I do get it, if the owner does change their mind, like if they actually do want to get rid of it, I'll probably take it, but I'll probably put it in my grandmother's kitchen. And I probably won't even, I might just give it to somebody, I don't know, I don't see what I'd use it for. The blades are very droopy on it, so yeah. But it is a nice looking fan, but I like it. I'm getting the, I'm bringing back that Northman this December from the Dominican Republic that was missing the blades. It had stencil blades, and I'm getting those from Brandon C. Johnson. He has a few, he has a set that I can use on it. So that works out. Let me show up the light. Yeah, the other videos I'm up on the computer right now being uploaded on YouTube. Same with the unboxing video. So by the time this one's up, those two videos have already been posted. Well, uploaded, that is. Alright. Let me move this up to high. The fan does go pretty fast and high. Definitely an impressive fan for being a new fan. It's almost, it's, I honestly consider this to, to be the same quality as the older fans, to be honest. There are some older fans that are just as, are maybe a little bit less powerful than this, but this is actually a very good fan, to be honest. I definitely would recommend this to anybody who's looking for a, a fan to do a job, same as a 52 inch version. That they still sell in brushed nickel and oil rub bronze in stores, but they have the white version of this 52 inches online still. So. But yeah, definitely Hampton Wayne Gordon's are actually very good fans to be honest, especially for a new fan. I actually consider, I actually view these as just as good as the older fans to be honest. Just like the quality wise and the air movements actually very similar. It's probably this is definitely more more solid we much a much more solid fan than the Costa Breeze. It's actually more it's actually better built, the motor housing that is. Motor is probably the same. It's just as powerful. I mean they definitely do move a good amount of air both of them. This and the coastal breeze. definitely isn't a disappointment for a newer fan, it's actually very, very good. Definitely satisfied with this purchase. I actually would install it, I really would, but I just don't, I would put it in the kitchen, but I don't want to see this fan get all yellowish, just like the Infinity did. When it was in, installed in its, the kitchen that used to, at the house that it used to be in. Let me show it up the light. Yeah, it's definitely a good fan. Just the, the quality built on this fan, like the the motor housing, is just as solid as the 2 inch version. I don't know if I said this already in this video, but it's really the same exact thing as the 52 inch version. Just a little bit. It's just a 42 inch model. Like the quality, like the Summer Breeze, the 52 inch version, is a bit more solid than the um, 42 inch model. Without a doubt, but this one, the quality is just the same between. The 52 inch version and the 42 inch one. Now I'm not saying that the 42 inch Summer Breeze is not a good fan, it is, but the 52 inch one is a little bit more solid. It's a bit more solid. And Alright, let me um 
shut it off and do a spin down. Yeah, this is definitely, I'm definitely going to install this somewhere whenever I get my own place. Like, whenever I get my own place, I'm definitely going to be swapping out fans from time to time, but it's definitely going to be installed one of these days when I get my own place. This would actually make a very good kitchen fan if it's if it's bigger than the one I have now. I definitely would put this in the kitchen. Probably the summer breed, no, 42 summer breed I would put, but I'd rather preserve that one since they're more rare. And this one I can definitely, if it ever, these are so common, and since I, it's, in, it's brand new, I don't really see it having any issues down the road. And the summer breeze did seem to have some wear and tear on, on it a tiny bit, so I'd rather pre preserve it. Same thing I did with the Jurcraft desk fan. I bought, I wanted to preserve it, and I bought the Honeywell. But yeah, it's come to a complete stop. That'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.